Okay, so today I will be painting my kitchen cabinets and I will be using the Rust-Oleum Cabinet Transformations Cabinet Coating System. And the reason why I chose to do this is because I did not want to sand. We've been in this house for five years and this is what my cabinets look like now. And I have stuff here on the bottom. And so um, we're just gonna get right to it. So first off, and I did this last night, I washed with soapy water um, the cabinets that are directly over the stove because when you're cooking it leaves a film and the kit says you want to make sure that they're nice and clean so before you do the deglossing step which is actually the first step you know it'll help so yeah so I'm gonna do a before and you know what normally I'll say this normally people well, I mean, they do advise you to do this. Take all your stuff out of the cabinets. And I started with that one. I was like, you know what? I don't think so. So this is, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do this with things in my cabinet. I'm going to be very careful. Um, if I see that it's not going to work, then, but, oh yeah, we have stuff everywhere. So anyways, I'm going to see if I can do this the most time, uh, time and cost efficient way. So let's do it from here. So this is the before. Let me close these cabinets. This is the before. And hopefully the after will look pretty good. And so first off, you want to clear space. I've seen some people use their garage, but it's entirely too hot here in Texas. So. I'm going to be doing the top cabinets first. I'm going to do these in sections, so I'm doing, that my, doing it myself. So what I've done is I've basically blocked my kids in with my hubby over there. And I have two tables that I can utilize after I clear them off. And then this space on the floor that I'll be putting the uh, cabinets on to dry and coat and dry, you know. So, uh, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and remove the cabinet doors. And I will show you... You want to number each cabinet, and with any hardware that comes off the cabinet, I'm going to put it in the corresponding number. So, here we go. Okay, so here, we just went ahead and numbered each cabinet door that we removed, and uh, we already began to take off the hardware. So again, it's real important that you number your cabinet and put any hardware coming off of each door into a corresponding uh, numbered bag. Yeah, we're just going to continue taking off the hardware, placing it in the corresponding bag. And um, also, you want to make sure when you start painting um, or deglossing or whatever, uh, start with the back side first. So when you're drying, eventually the last step of drying will be your what, what's facing outward, what people will see, um, just in case you damage it. You know, you want to start with the, the back side. There, here I'm just showing you all the cabinet doors on the top are removed. First, you want to scrub off the cabinet finish with the deglosser, and this is what comes in the Rust-Oleum uh, kit, and it also marks, you know, step one. It also comes with, um, um, I guess, the green scrub pad in the kit. So next, you want to wipe the surface with a damp cloth just to remove the deglosser. When you do degloss, you want to make sure you uh, apply a lot of pressure. You want to make sure the finish comes off. Okay, so next you want to, uh, with a lint-free cloth, you want to dry it off. creative and used um, my resources, pulled some resources that I already had around the house, 
And to prop up each cabinet door to properly uh, dry on each side, we are going to use our mega Lego blocks um, that my kids use, and they work perfect. Um, so yeah, we just kind of did like a three-point support with the Legos, and voila, there you have it. A, a perfect way to prop up your doors to let them dry. Okay, back to work. So next we're going to start with step two. I'm using a two and two and a half inch uh, paintbrush, which is what is recommended with this kit. And we are going to start um, painting on the bond coat, which is actually the color, the pure white color. Um, so here we go. So I wanted to show you after putting on several coats of the bond coating um, with the paintbrush it kind of leaves like this streaky finish uh, here's a better um, view of what I'm talking about and I just did not like it I don't like the way it went on so I went and bought a paint a semi-gloss paint uh, it's a paint and primer and bought a paint roller um, a four inch little paint roller I went ahead and flipped over the cabinet doors. We're gonna start on the front side. Here we are, as you can tell, um, it's a lot smoother. The finish is not streaky. Here's a closer look. And um, yeah, so it worked. So, um, you know, uh, the kit is a great idea if you don't want to sand, you know, you don't want to sand off the finish because that can be very time-consuming and tedious, but I just was not content with the paint. So, you know, I adjusted my project and that's okay because it's still well within my budget. And I'm just going to go ahead and show that how we finish the frame on top. Okay, so here's my cute little helper for today. Um, this is day three, um, and we are working on, finally, the bottom half of the kitchen cabinet. And here I just wanted to give you a close-up look of how um, much better the paint goes on with the paint uh, roller. wanted to show you that I'm using a, a small sponge brush and this came really handy uh, in getting the little uh, crevices of the cabinet trim and as you can see it goes on really well with this little sponge brush and it also helps with any like uh, paint drips so that's something else you might consider if you're going to be painting your kitchen cabinet. <laughs> okay. It's in like windy.
Okay, before the big reveal, here is a before, and ta-da! This is the after, and I absolutely love it. And again, um, I did use the transformation kit, but I did not really use the last step of it, and I went ahead and bought my own paint, and I'm happy that I did. I am content with the outcome. I do hope that um, you find this video helpful if you're trying to do, uh, you know, a cabinet transformation uh, within a budget this whole thing cost me less than 120 bucks and I say not a hundred because the the extra money came from buying that bucket of paint so um, I hope you find this video helpful and thanks for watching Bye.